What is going on, guys? Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with an AIM Academy Episode 3. The support has been great so far in this series. So, we are starting the next episode to get your AIM very straight and obviously have one of the best shots in the game with a lot of practice and with these tips. You will be able to accomplish that. And this one is going to be a great episode today. So, just make sure to watch it all. Don't miss it. And leave a beautiful like. And thank you. So now when it comes to shooting games and especially in Call of Duty, um, without a doubt, one of the biggest things is controlling the weapon's recoil. Now every gun and every weapon has a recoil and a recoil pattern to them. So understanding the recoil pattern and kind of how you want to shoot the gun will help you shoot the gun very straight once you master that. And I'm gonna be giving you guys some tips around surrounding that but uh you know to first i want to show you guys basically how the recoil looks and kind of what you want to do so we're gonna just look at this wall real quickly and kind of demonstrate so if i don't move the stick at all i'm just gonna shoot the gun you can see it slowly moves up to the right and obviously this bot kind of wants something i'm gonna beam him really quick we can see right there it starts here and it kind of starts going up and to the right now every gun has a different recoil pattern so you like if you're not using 74 you obviously 74 you is like one of the best guns in the game and one of the most used guns but you can apply this to any weapon and you can make a gun that maybe has a lot of recoil or a gun that sucks you can make it shoot pretty damn straight and that is for a reason why i can shoot some of these guns that have high recoils really well so once you understand the recoil pattern now obviously with the 74 you i'm currently rocking the muzzle brake on it i kind of like it a little bit more over the compensator but once you understand this recoil pattern how it kind of goes slightly to the right so your goal is to go what slightly to the left and low obviously it has that kick so you want to lower the kick so you want to aim lower so slightly low and obviously it goes to the right so you want to go a little bit to the left so you're basically countering where it's going with your right stick so like if i'm going to control this so i'm going to move hold it slightly down because obviously you don't it's not a huge movement i don't have to like completely go down but you see i can beam see the beams so you slightly down and slightly to the left so obviously it should look something like that um it's kind of weird shooting at the wall but basically you can see it's pretty contained for the most part obviously when you're obviously shooting at someone your the auto aim pull would even make it a little bit easier in terms of like kind of shooting around the body but you see it's sort of contained so you can do this with basically any weapon and any gun um you really that's the that's the goal that's the first thing so controlling recoil is obviously very big and i've been giving you guys a lot of tips and this is also another big tip when it comes to having a really good shot and shooting very straight because obviously if you're a novice kind of like a beginner and you don't really control the recoil as well you will struggle shooting very straight with the gun and uh, controlling the recoil to the point where you could beam people off head glitches from far away like being that good at it so like let's say guys right there on that heady like i can beam him off that heady i can beam him off that heady obviously when they're in a super head glitch it becomes a little bit more difficult especially as a sub but it's all about being consistent and being really good with your shot the shooting very straight at all times damn you nades guys yeah, so we got some hard point cartel 4v6 i don't know how this is gonna go but we're gonna play this out and obviously the whole point of this video is to show you show you the beams show you talk a little bit about controlling the recoil now we are doing episode three today like i mentioned earlier damn i actually killed that guy and then we are talking about controlling recoil that is tip number three one of the most important tips if you want to shoot the gun very straight and beam people especially from far away because it's not only about shooting people from like close range medium range it's also about shooting people very far and even on head glitches like using a sub essentially almost as an ar kind of how i am now and this guy i don't know if he knows who i am i have two bullets um i'm out of here buddy or i'm out of here get a get kill with this pistol I even, got, I even got good at shooting the pistol pretty straight. I'm on a little spree right now. Oh, they know who I am. Oh, they're coming for me. So obviously, um, first things first is understanding the recoil pattern when I was explaining earlier. And then once you understand the recoil pattern and you and you kind of have an idea how the gun shoots and how you want to shoot it, 
nice little three piece there once you understand that then it comes to practicing it and like playing the game i mean that's obviously uh, a no-brainer but it's a very big factor because it's a lot of it is muscle memory right when once you understand kind of how the gun shoots and you just you do it a lot of times and you keep practicing it sort of muscle memory you start doing it oh my god like i'm putting on a montage right now fun fact i have i think i've done like a fun montage before but never like a legit montage that'd be pretty cool to do one of those all in the harp we already got a harp going into the third hill of the game nice little beam right there you can see i could i can see almost basically his head only i mean you can see kind of his shoulder but very little part of his body i'm able to beam him pretty comfortably and you can see understanding the recoil pattern controlling it go for a nuke over here for you guys uh, it's not good on my thigh uh, no ammo no ammo i found ammo understanding that and then it's playing the game and practicing it and doing it over and over again but obviously i think a big tip that i'm going to give you guys next is that when you understand the recoil pattern and you see it don't overdo it okay what oh my i'm on a spree i don't even know what i'm on I'm, I'm getting close to nuclear nuclear but what do i mean by not overdoing it simply enough when people i'm on a 20 well i need 10 more but when people like try to control the recoil or when you understand the pattern and you see it, it's like people tend to do go too far like do too much like move the stick like adjusting the the, the stick too much you gotta understand it's most of the time it's slight adjustments you never want to move the stick too hard it's very slight adjustments once you understand that you'll realize kind of how to do it no wait i was like too off and i get stuck leave a like please oh my god please please leave a like please leave a like guys i almost got a nuke and i died because i got stuck man when i'm doing a little tip video for you guys it's actually absurd but yeah a big thing don't overdo it so when i shoot at people and i'm controlling the recoil i wish i could show you my stick maybe i'll do that one day but i i do very slight adjustments i don't i don't like i don't like go hard down very very slight adjustments because there's no need to overdo it that's the thing that's the thing when it comes to controlling the recoil pattern and the recoil a lot of the times it's i mean it depends on the gun obviously like guns that have a huge kick to them like sometimes you gotta just do it a little bit more but in most cases it's usually just slight adjustments and controlling it as you shoot which takes a lot of practice but the more you do it like i said the more you practice it more you realize it once you understand the recoil pattern for the most part it's always it's slight adjustments it's never like don't try to do too much and then obviously the more you practice with it and play with it you're gonna understand kind of okay i could maybe move it a little bit more maybe i should move it a little bit less and your gun will start shooting very straight like this i think they think i'm hacking i mean i get it like i'm shooting very straight and i almost got a nuke so i get why you would think i'm hacking and I guess that's a that's a compliment, right? <laughs> I'll take that compliment. Aim tip number three, aim academy. Academy. Maybe I should invite these guys to the aim academy. Give them a little, a little lesson. Oh my god, they can't stop me. Pop the armor plate, a little tip right there. Why don't you can triangle it? About to go for another nucle nuclear. Oh my god, dude. It's like they can't stop me. Oh my god, I'm about to go for another nuke. They can't kill me. What am I on? 10 to 15? Team him. Guy. Oh my god, that's how he killed me last time. Oh my 
Got him on a 19. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> oh, they got me, man. I guess the last thing when it comes to controlling your recoil, obviously attachments are important. Understand what horizontal recoil is and vertical recoil is. Basically, to sum it up really quickly. Woo, woo, woo. Vertical recoil is obviously when your gun sh goes up and horizontal is when it goes sideways. So that's why, you know, when you shoot, like I, I like muzzle break on the 74U. You can see it goes up, but to the right. So it has very little horizontal. You see it's, it shoots straight for the most part and a little bit to the right. So it just depends. I personally would rather have vertical than horizontal because on a controller, it's easier to hold it like control vertical. All you essentially have to do is aim down. And then obviously you can make a slight adjustment to the horizontal, but it's a lot harder to control the horizontal controller or just in general, vertical is just easier, obviously. So definitely um, understand that part. Understand that when you're making your classes, understand that when you're using a gun, understand that when you're seeing the recoil pattern, what horizontal is and vertical is. Little nines, 96 kill game, max out the score at 30,000. Almost a hundred bomb with no actual kill streaks, just like support streaks. That's crazy. If you enjoyed today's video, today's series episode, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel. I'll, I still have a couple more episodes to go. And yeah, hope you learned something new today. Hope you have a wonderful day and I'll catch you.